What's up, Bargain family? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna check out what's new at Dollar Tree. You can see they're bringing Christmas in. This is definitely not by the yellow Santa Claus. This video is sponsored by Wudoku. I'll have more about them later. I couldn't believe I found these ring lights for $1.25. They are not part of the plus section where items are three to five dollars. No, they are $1.25. The ring lights come with a stand and a phone holder. You will need a USB wall charger to get this to work. So basically a phone charger that holds a USB cord. There are three different settings, a cool light, a warm light, and a warmer light. I tried the phone holder. On Honestly, doesn't hold the phone well. The holder kept going in front of the light. So when I used the ring light with the camera in front of the light, the light didn't look that good as you can see. But then when I switched it to the back of the light, it looks much better. So I prefer it with the camera to the back of the light. Usually when I film with the ring light, that's how I like it anyways. For $1.25, this is a score. My favorite setting of the three is definitely the cool light. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for this. I've seen it hauled before these color changing party lights. So you plug this inside of your car and it just makes the thing glow. I just, I find anything having to do with lights and shining so much fun. They also have this ambient light. It's a dot projector. So to set the mood in your car, I don't know what the heck. My last haul, I hauled toddler pajamas, which I thought was amazing. These are super cool, you guys. Granted, okay, granted. I don't necessarily understand what you use this inside of the car for other than to show off or maybe to uh, entertain your toddlers on a road trip, but this is so cool for a dollar and 25 cents. Now, if you just get a battery charger that is portable or if you connect this to a USB plug inside of your house and not necessarily your car, you can use these as lights for Christmas time or during the holiday. You can even use these to DIY, which I totally want to try something out with this. These are so fun. The little red one, you can move it around and get like different dots with it. I just I absolutely love these. Highly recommend. I found this push to start rhinestone bling. The way it works is it comes with an adhesive and you put the adhesive on the back of the ring, then put that around the button. I actually ripped a little bit of the adhesive off so I can place it on the ring. I didn't want to put the entire thing down because Matt was like, no, you're not blinging up the car. So <laughs> this is just to share with you guys how it looks. These iron patches are new and they're so cute. I love the smiley faces, especially the yellow ones. I love these. As soon as I saw these, I knew I wanted to try them on one of Noelle's onesies. So the way that this works is you just place them on the clothing and then iron it on top of the clothing. However, you do want to use something that is either all cotton or a cotton blend. It says to place your iron on top of the iron on for about 30 seconds. I did a little bit more than that because I was using a small iron and then it just, it sticks right away pretty much. It looks so cute on Noelle, I love this. These are new, these LED ornaments, they're covered in glitter and basically they change a bunch of different colors. I recently used this in a DIY. These set of two gingerbread ornaments are new. These lanterns as well, for $1.25, these are a great price. These are new to Dollar Tree. They look like birdhouses, but have these window boxes attached to them. I wanna make a DIY out of this. I'm also gonna be using those little cube boxes from Dollar Tree. So it's a little cube with a box in the inside. I picked up seven boxes. Now, no two wood boxes are alike when it comes to the Dollar Tree wood boxes. Some are a little bit smaller, some are a little bit larger. So you kinda have to figure out the placement of how you want your DIY to look. I try to put the heights that are similar to each other near each other and then any Anything that's a little bit shorter near the end. I just glue them together. Then I take the birdhouses and I glue them on top of the little boxes. So that you don't see the butterfly and heart cutouts, I take out the little drawers and flip them around so it looks much nicer this way. And then I paint this all white. Those gingerbread ornaments that I just showed you guys, I bought a few of those and I'm just writing out my family names on top of the gingerbread men. And then I just glue those to the front of the houses. Dollar Tree carries wood bead wreaths and you get a lot of wood beads if you buy that versus the little packs in the crafter square section so what i do is i just unravel the wreath and i take the beads off of it to use as the little knobs to pull out the drawers i'm gonna glue some fake snow that i got from dollar tree on top of the boxes and on top of the houses i really like the way that this looks it gives it more of a christmas winter village 
feel. That's how I made the smaller Dollar Tree advent calendar. This is a good option if you're trying to do something that's a little bit less expensive than buying 25 items from Dollar Tree to make a bigger advent calendar. I love the way that this turned out. I wish all Dollar Tree wood blocks were the same size. It's not really fun trying to figure out the placement of these blocks, if they will fit, and hoping they will line up perfectly. But when it comes to the sponsor of this video, Wudoku, a wood block puzzle game, it's a lot more fun lining up wood blocks and trying to make fun combos to beat challenges and levels. Wudoku is a completely free to play mobile game available on both iOS and Android devices. This game offers hundreds of challenging levels and is a great practice for testing IQ and intelligence. I'm not playing when I say Wudoku is challenging. I have played so many mobile games and this by far is the most challenging one that really gets me thinking about what my next move is going to be. It features three different modes for you to explore during gameplay, including daily challenges, classic mode, and my favorite journey mode. In the game modes, players need to arrange the wooden blocks to form a square, vertical, or horizontal line to clear tiles from the board to earn points. The daily challenge and journey modes are oftentimes harder than they look, but that's okay because that just means you got to get your brain thinking a little bit harder on how to beat these challenges and modes. If I'm trying to do something a little bit easier, I can play in classic mode where I just try to score as many points as possible and beat my previous high score. The app is completely free with no purchases required or money to spend to play. If you would like to try out Wudoku for yourself, you can click the link down in my description box to download Wudoku right now or scan the QR code you see here on the screen. And remember, every single time you download the app, it really helps support my channel out and the content that I create here. So again, thanks to Wudoku for sponsoring this video. These are new, these little picks with the gingham buffalo check look. They got three different colors to choose from. Dollar Tree starting to get in all of the Christmas stuff. This is a lot of last year things, but I'll share with you guys what are some of the better things to buy that they had last year and they're bringing in again this year. For instance, these flocked bottle brush trees. These are awesome. I decorate with them all over the house. They have a lot of bottle brush trees in different colors, like they have pink, green, gold, the hot pink, they got the ombre ones. So right now is the time to buy them because before, honestly, November, these sell out really quickly. They got some really pretty new picks in. They have little apples on them. I really like the white one. The gold glitter is really pretty. They just got so many different ones. Like this one's really, really nice. The gold and the red. Christmas trees. You always want to get Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. You can attach multiple ones together to create a bigger one. These are awesome for customizing. You can put the little names there using your Cricut. They're just awesome little like stocking stuffers or things to give to friends. These LED Christmas trees are new actually this year. I think you oh, it changes into a red color. These are really pretty. A lot of glitter though. These trees are color changing trees. At first I thought it was just red, but no, it goes through all the colors of the rainbow. Always keep your eyes out for the DIY wood pieces. My favorite one is the gingerbread house and then the Christmas trees. I completely forgot this is actually my favorite one out of all the wood pieces, the gingerbread man. As usual, these are always good. The globes, the clear ornaments, the white ornaments. You can do so many different things with this. Oh, this is new, these LED projectors. So this is kind of like the Halloween one. It displays a bunch of different things. These are so nice. They glow like really nicely. I love these lights. When you see them, buy them, they sell out quickly. And what I really like about them is they instantly make your home feel very festive and they have them for different holidays. So you don't even have to decorate. You can turn these on and you're good to go. These are also new, these light and sound snowmen. I think this is the only character they got. They're bringing their Christmas mugs in, some we've seen in the past. However, I like this snowman and gnome, which I have not seen at Dollar Tree before. They have Christmas stuff in the plus section and people talk crap about the plus section. I don't know why, like I can't DIY this for $5 using other Dollar Tree products. It's really good prices here and you can DIY on top of that. So what I like the most are these little standing characters. My favorite one is the gingerbread man. They have these and I've DIY'd these in the past. This is just good to go. It costs about the same amount as it is to DIY, $5. I love vintage Christmas decor. It's my favorite decor. Look at these metal signs. Now, the only thing about them is it kind of looks like it's like double vision. Like some of them have really bad prints, but I'm so excited about this for $5. And not only that, they have the Christmas gnomes, the big size ones. Look how many different ones there are. I like the reindeer the most. These gingerbread are such a great price at $5. They're large and they look really nice even with high-end decor. So they have the inflatable Christmas decorations again. The way this works is you fill it up with water. When I originally bought this, I thought it blows up. No, you fill it up with water 
and air and that's how it blows up what was that noise these are so nice these solar lanterns they have two different sizes one that's five dollars and one that's three dollars these are super nice i had my husband hang these outside for me i really like the way that they look and you know what the green ones actually work if you're doing a sims costume it looks like the little sim blob the price on this is honestly great. It is these LED lighted ceramic trees. I saw these the other day. They have like gold, white at $5 for something like this. It's really hard to find it that cheap. And I love these because again, it's like that vintage Christmas decor. These inflatable ornaments are new to Dollar Tree. Three come in a pack for $5. They're 12 inches by 15 inches. I ended up getting the clear ornaments that have glitter in the inside. I had my husband blow them up because I got asthma. Your girl will pass out doing this. I really like the way that these look when you put lights on the back of them. Now this is the thing, I don't know how they hold up outside because I know when you have to inflate things with just your own breath, lots of times they deflate easily. So we'll see. I really like these metal reindeers. These actually look pretty high end. Like I feel like if you got things from home goods, it would cost more money. And then they got nutcrackers. Not a big fan of their nutcrackers. These Christmas trees, um, the wood ones, and then actual Christmas trees. And this is actually a really good price. $5 for that, honestly. This is a good price. These red trucks for $5 and the little campers. These are actually super cute. And then they got these sleds for $5. You can just hang this like maybe on the front of your door or on the wall somewhere. They also have these decorative doors which I think are really cute, but I don't really know how to decorate with a door. I actually DIY'd one woo, back in the day, but. These gift box stacks are new for just $5, four different ones to choose from. I think these gift boxes are a great price and to DIY them would cost you more than $5 to DIY. I used to DIY stuff that looked like this back in the day, back when it was a dollar, so maybe it would have been cheaper to DIY it, but now just buy it like this at that price. These are new inflatable. Wow, how cute is this? Elmo and Cookie Monster. This is so freaking cute. They have this countdown of Christmas decor as well as these floral boxes with Christmas greenery in the inside. I really like these Santa Clauses. There's just a bunch of different decor. So they have these gunk getters right now. So these are great. It's almost like a slime, but not as annoying. And you use it to clean like dust and dirt off of harder reach areas like your keyboard inside of your car. They actually have two different ones, the gunk getter and this Lexol. I'll probably give both of them a try, see which one's better. We ended up using the Lexol one inside of the car and these are really great for inside of a car because you have all these little compartments that are really hard to get inside and lots of us eat inside of our car. We're on the go. So this is great to get like the crust and crumbs that fell to the bottom of little compartments inside of your car. It's really good for the cup holder when you get things inside of there. As you can see, it just comes right off. And then even your gear shift, if you have one that's like fabric and stuff gets stuck on the sides, just move the fabric, put this inside of there and it picks it right up. It does have armor all carpet and upholstery wipes. 12 come in a pack. I've never seen this before. I mean, it's something to try. See if you want to go buy more somewhere else. We tried these wipes inside of the car on a small little area. It was fine. You didn't have to do a lot of scrubbing. It came right off. When we tried it on a bigger area in the car, it did leave behind a wet ring. So I think it's hard to say whether I recommend these or not because I think the type of material you're wiping these on, it you know, it will vary how it turns out, and then it also varies on how like bad the stain is so are these hit and miss i don't i don't really know like there's something to try out they might work for you they might not i can't say whether they're great or they're not it just depends this is also new it's just screws drywall screws wood screws construction screws 50 come in a pack and this is a good option if you don't want too many screws for a dollar and 25 cents it's not necessarily a bad price this nano tape is new so it's actually called space tape it's new to dollar tree one roll you get 3.3 feet this is actually good for diy i wouldn't use it on the wall they got some scotch items some chair glides and these actually look better than the ones that i got these are good if you have hardwood floors and then they got these caster cups which i don't really I get what they're used for, but I don't have no use for those. These chair gliders are different from ones I've owned in the past because these have a little nail on the bottom of them. So you have to push that through your legs. You have to pre-drill a hole and then use a hammer to hammer into place. I'm sure you could just hammer it if you don't have a drill. It just probably would take a little bit more muscle to get it to stick. And the thing about this is, in my opinion, out of all the chair gliders that are on the bottom of my chairs, these ones do make a noise that sounds like it's scratching your floor, but it's not scratching your floor. I, I don't get it. 
be careful when you fall over. These other two chairs you're gonna hear me glide, they have different gliders and they don't sound as loud as the Dollar Tree ones. It's been about a week since I've had these on this one chair. There's no scratching, it's just louder, but it doesn't scratch the floors. Look how cool these new building block kits are for just $1.25. I highly recommend these kits, you guys. They are well worth $1.25. The Lego pieces or building blocks, they stay together. It isn't cheap. It doesn't fall apart easily. They are great for the price. I have to build them myself because if I try to build this with Cooper around, he just keeps knocking it over on me. Um, so I have to do it and then I have to give him the house afterward. Otherwise, in the process, he just keeps grabbing all the Legos and I don't know what happened to them and then I can't finish my project. These are new, this is so cute. So it's the pretend food. They always have like this kind of in the packaging. However, right now they have like a pan with hamburger stuff in the inside and fries. I highly recommend this toy. It's amazing for the price. If your kid has a toy kitchen, maybe you can buy a couple of these since they're such an inexpensive price. And I like that this toy is very much so a learning toy. This is new, this is pretty much slime, but it's like a lightweight slime. And I think this is name brand. And it's a lot of it that comes in a pack. We got two batches of slime. The green one was okay. The pink one was a little bit too sticky. And that's because you can see that the ingredients in it kind of separate it. And when we try to mix it together, it just didn't mix well with the pink one versus the green one where it ended up mixing well. However, if you can find ones that are good batches, this is really good quality slime versus like the Dollar Tree brand stuff that's super, super sticky and slimy. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Again, thanks to Wood Doku for sponsoring this video. I'll see you. Take care. Bye.